How you doing, guys? Welcome back to Coffee and Juice. So now, I'm out here, and I figured out, I started doing my mathematics on my own accounting. I'm spending around $80 to $100 a day. Now, some of you are like, that sounds like a ridiculous number, but stick around. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down exactly what I'm spending and what I'm spending it on out here in Tyler. So $100 a day, what does that get you? And why do I find myself spending at the upper tier or the upper number being $100 a day? Now, if we get up in the morning and you have something called an American breakfast in a pretty decent restaurant, you're going to spend anywhere from 10 to 12 US dollars. Then after that, you might want to hit the gym. Now, depending on if you have a month or a three month kind of setup at the gym, what that's going to allot you is maybe $10 a day. So you got your breakfast, you got your gym. Now, if you're a little bit of a prima donna, do you go somewhere else to get a cup of coffee? That's up to you. So that would be like, if you want Starbucks out here, it's a $10 experience. Not saying that I do that, but we can add that to the mix because that might interest you regarding on what you're going to spend. So then once I'm finished with the gym, I like to get a fruit shake because once again, the heat strips a lot of the sugar out here. So you have about a hundred baht, which is around $3 for one of these fruit shakes. So then as we move on towards the rest of the day, what you have to realize is that now you might want to go get a massage. So let's say you get a two hour massage. That's going to be an oil and a foot. That's around 500 baht which is around $15, plus you're probably going to tip. If you're not an animal, the girl's been working on you for about two hours. So you're looking at maybe a 1,000 baht, right? With no extras, if you understand. So we got a 1,000 baht there. Then you might recover, you might relax and say, you know what? The sun went down a little bit. Let me hit a Muay Thai private, which is around 700 to around 900 baht, which is another 25 to $30. And then what closes it out is that you're probably going to have something to eat for another $10 or $15. So a very active day, and this did not, now, now understand, this did not include adult entertainment. It also did not include you grabbing a couple of drinks at the lady bar. Once again, that's not necessarily my lifestyle. I have nothing against it. But once again, if we had to kind of calculate how much you can spend, and we break down this video, it's basically anywhere from it's it's $80 to $120 per day if you're really kind of, if you're blasting through, all right? So out here in a particular region, let's say of Patia, where I'm, you know, filming from right now, this is the money per day if you're not taking it easy, all right? So coffee and juice. Hopefully you got something out of this breakdown and either you will spend more or less contingent on what your hobbies and lifestyle are. Okay.